<laughs> you guys ready for your last comedian of the night? I said, are you ready for your last comedian of the night? Hell yeah. Your next, your next comedian coming to the stage. Also, you can catch him at the DC Improv tomorrow. He's in here working on new material for y'all. He's recently up for Michael Che in town from LA. Put your hands together for the very funny Martin Amini! How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Woo! You feeling good? Y'all feeling good? Yeah. You all right? You about to have a cheeseburger? <laughs> God damn, man, my man's comfortable as fuck right now. Number six in the front row. Can we get some ketchup? <laughs> nah, it's just, how is it? <laughs> is it? It's nice, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> That ass. It's like, it's weird, like, cause like, I'm literally like trying to chase my dreams and make y'all laugh. Meanwhile, this guy's like, nom, 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 He's like, mwah, it smacks, literally, mwah. Your jokes, me. But this burger, nom, 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 nom. You look like you eating pussy right now. Like, nom, 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 nom. It smacks. I don't have TikTok, but it smacks. Suck my dick. How about that? Suck my dick. <laughs> you ever like be at the office and you have that one dude like, man, fuck that dude. That's this guy right here. <laughs> Cause like, I don't have an office, you know what I mean? Like this is literally what I do for a living. So it's like, you see someone you don't fuck with like at your job, you can't, you can't tell your coworker suck your dick. <laughs> Cause they're gonna report you to HR. But guess what? In comedy, they ain't no motherfucking HR. <laughs> I determine the motherfucking rules. <laughs> I might get a bad Yelp review, but. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, enjoy, not nah, but for real, enjoy the, my bad, man. I should, you know, it's a, it's a, it's Wednesday. You didn't pay anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, all you had to do is be respectful and you're like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my burger, dog. No, 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 no. Not bad, man. We just be friends. I feel like now, you know what it is? Are you from the DMV? Nah. Fuck! <laughs> That's why your energy's different. Cause I don't, it's hard to pick up your energy because you are, you, where, you, where are you from? Connecticut. It's okay. <laughs> oh shit, you from Connecticut? I knew I didn't like you. Yo, this bitch ass Connecticut motherfucker, bro, with his burger. Only a motherfucker from Connecticut would sit in the front row and eat a burger. That's some white privilege shit. <laughs> Yo, you motherfucking white privilege, Yukon Huskies, private school motherfucker. This motherfucker ain't no motherfucker. This man played for the women's basketball team for Yukon. Fuck this dude. He won three national championships. Ah! It's tough, because when I don't like someone, I can't hide it. I'm the type of dude you like, you just know immediately if I don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? Like, you seem cool. You seem cool. I don't know about you, but you seem cool. Are you his friend? You are. So just by association, are you also from Connecticut? San Francisco. San Francisco, the second worst place in America. Fuck. Connecticut, San Francisco, please have a better answer, dog. Are you from the, Are y'all not, are y'all, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. South of San Francisco. South of San Francisco, okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So all y'all not from the DMV? No. Nah. You are? Yeah. You've been the chillest so far. <laughs> what part of the DMV are you from? Tessa. Fuck! <laughs> God damn! If there was like a fuck boy section, this is the fuck boy central front row Wednesday free comedy eating a burger front with my Bethesda homies. I'm from San Francisco, but the South Side. <laughs> That's this dude right here. I'm from the South Side. I'm from like where the shit, like you can't get on the train for free. Like you gotta pay double. Like, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Eat your fucking burger. What is it, vegan, you bitch? Like, <laughs> you fucking hoe. You hoe ass bitch. Okay, so let me, let me, uh, like, uh, there's, I'm doing something right now and I want to let you know what I'm doing. So, like, in the DMV, where I'm from, born and raised, when we, when we meet someone new, we roast you. That's how you get welcome to the community, right? Y'all can back me up? DMV, that's how we get down, right? So when I see someone eating a burger in the front row, it's in my nature to be like, hey, who the fuck is this? <laughs> so that's why, like, second question is, like, where you from? I said, are you from the DMV? And you were like, nah. 
And I'm like, all right, well, let's give them a chance. Then they said Connecticut. And I was like, ding, 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 fuck this dude. So that's what happened. It's not saying I hate you forever. Just in this moment, your stock is down. But there's a chance, you know what I mean? But the Bethesda dude, he's not helping. Like that's the one dude from the DMV you got like to stamp you and it's like, Bethesda's like, that's not like the street cred place. That's like, if you want to join the lacrosse team, that's the guy. That's like, yo, Yacht Club, lacrosse, varsity, you know what I mean? Like that's the dude, if you want like, where do I get a lacrosse stick? Like, hit up this guy. All right. So we're getting to know each other. We're welcoming you to the community. Do you live here now? Yeah. Okay, so we're welcome. This is a, think of this as a welcome party to the, to the neighborhood. If you want to come back to Petworth, the room 808, you have to go through this process. You know what I mean? You have to like, I don't know this guy yet. I didn't start with this. I'm not, we'll get to you later. I don't know if I have enough time. I, I got to leave in like 10 minutes. I haven't told one joke, but it's just like, I'm just so annoyed. I've been triggered, you know what I mean? Like, something inside my spirit was like, Martin, get him. <laughs> in the motherfucking front row in front of Martin and me. Are you crazy? This guy's crazy. This guy's wild. Fuck. What's your name? My bad. Pete? Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Why y'all laughing? It's not Pete? Damn, bro. Why are you lying? You ner are you nervous? Don't be no. Pete, yo, this is a safe space. Pierre. Pierre? Okay, chill. Nah, you don't laugh at, yo, don't laugh at Pierre. That's his name. He's opening up right now. He's being vulnerable. This is a safe space. Okay? Pierre, nice to meet you, Pierre. My name is Martin. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I feel like now we're starting, we're resetting the energy. Right? Pierre's, he could be, a, he could be a nice guy. We don't know yet. <laughs> All right, so how long you lived in the DMV for? A couple months. A couple, oh, so you're new? Yeah. All right, this is, a, this is amazing. These new guys. All right, let's see, this could be educational. So what do you do for a living? <laughs> Are you laughing? Uh, I, I work in tech. Okay. Yeah. Damn, you were like a douchebag for... <laughs> this dude was like a super douchebag. What a fucking... What a douche... Are y'all all, do y'all all work, do tech together? <laughs> Like, let's touch calculators. <laughs> you give me your calculator, we can like touch them together. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all all fucking, y'all the dudes at the club that no girl wants to talk to. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay. You guys need somewhere to go on a Wednesday. So I'm glad y'all here talking to me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Y'all all single? Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, it's all right. Y'all like, no, we ain't single. <laughs> Y'all look single as fuck. Damn, so Bethesda, how'd you meet these guys? Tech? College. College? Oh, fuck, what college? Connecticut? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Wait, are y'all affiliated with them too? Yeah. Who's, who's the- We brought them. The whole you thing. brought them? Yeah. Ladies, are y'all, is this like a, is this like a, a, day, a night out, like a date night type of situation? Is this a y'all or just, are y'all just friends? <laughs> Co workers, are y'all in tech too? <laughs> Wait, y'all work for like Bumble or something? <laughs> Is it, what, what's the tech company? What's yeah, the tech? You've never heard of it. What? Don't assume. <laughs> you don't know what I know and what I don't know. What's the tech company? What the fuck is your name? I don't. I never heard of it. The fuck? This bitch. You and Pierre would be a great match. Fucking, fucking cheeseburger. And the bitch that says, you haven't heard of the tech we know. Our tech is so advanced that you wouldn't even know about it, comedian. Go tell your free ass jokes, you loser. Fuck you. Okay, I wouldn't even know about your tech. Whatever. I don't give a fuck about your technology. <laughs> All right, so y'all y'all ain't affiliated with that, right? Y'all different. Y'all different. Yeah, I, I could just feel the I could feel the energy. This is this whole section. You just gave me the middle finger for what? It's a, it's you, like some, but not all. Yeah. you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's that's one way to reverse the energy. <laughs> Let's flick this guy off at this free comedy show, making people laugh for nothing. Yeah, fuck me, I'm the bad guy. I'm not a loser. Yeah, go hang out with Pierre later. You guys will have fun. <laughs> 
All right, we gotta we gotta reverse the shift. Are you are you not having you haven't been laughing this entire week? You haven't been enjoying this experience? I'm good. I don't know. Who wants jokes? Clap your hand. Okay. Who wants me to continue roasting these guys? Yeah! Get them! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I mean, I know. At the end of this, I'm sorry. What, I don't, but she looks so miserable too. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, God damn, I'm trying so hard to defuse, to, to get rid of this cheeseburger energy. And then, like, I'm going, everyone's like, yeah, keep going. And then, and then this girl's like, I want some jokes though. Like, God, I can't. Yo, I'm trying to please everybody. She's giving me the middle finger. I'm like, what the fuck, son? I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to make this white lady happy. Oh my God, I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. This job is terrible. Never become a comedian because you'll be, this is the worst day at the office. This is, this is a tough year. It really is. This is a tough year. I'm trying to keep everyone happy. I really am. I know you're going through a tough time and I want you to be happy. You made it out on a Wednesday, but, You can smell it though, right? The cheeseburger, it's annoying. It's an annoying smell. All right. I should tell, I mean, I should. I have a big show, I have a big show tomorrow. I, I came with my notebook to practice my jokes for the DC Improv, where people are paying. Do the no, we love it. So yeah. Where's your show DC Improv, I just said it, DC Improv. I'm fucking retarded. I'm fucking idiot. Fucking Pierre's friend. Please don't come, by the way. Don't come. Don't come to my show. I don't I don't want any of this energy at my DC improv show. Please don't. No, no, no. Y'all are cool. I mean y'all get it though, right? You're coming. You get you, you, you get the whole you get the you get the vibes. You've been uh, you've been zoning out. <laughs> yeah, you took edible. Yeah. Fuck, bro, that's a bad idea. If you're gonna take edible, don't sit in the front row, bro. I, I can see your face. It's like right there, bro. It's like, how do I not like look at like, fuck. Edible, miserable, asshole, Bethesda. Fuck this front row. Fuck. Why couldn't I get some good energy from the back or over there to sit over here? You know what I mean? God damn, bro. The fuck, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, yeah, sure, I wrote some really funny things that are really awesome, you know? <laughs> but it's like, what, at this point, it's like, what the fuck? Who cares about those things? I just took me 10 years to, you know, work on them. I don't know, man. All right, well, is this anyone's first time seeing me or being at Room 808? Clap your hands. Well, usually what happens is I come on stage, people are like, yay, and then they, they, they shut the fuck up, and, and then it's like, let's see it, you know, let's do it. And then, but tonight was just a little like chaotic, you know? There's people from technology here. And it's like, it's just like, the, you know what I mean? When people are from technology, it's like, all right, you gotta like change. You gotta bring a different energy with them. You know what it is? I'm just, I'm trying to, because I'm, I'm, one of my big things that I always love to do when I'm on, not necessarily, this ain't a stage, it's like more of a Persian rug. <laughs> I try to, I try to, like my, the whole, for me, look, stand-up comedy's like this. You gotta connect. Like, if you don't connect with the people, then it's not gonna work. Like, I can sit here and tell my jokes and be vulnerable about like my life story and like what I've gone through. But it's like until like, look, see, they're talking. So it's like, it's, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's, it would be stupid for me to read into my notebook and about my feelings when they don't give a fuck. <laughs> so it's like, why would I sub- We love you, we love you. You're literally doing so good. Like I'm enjoying everything. You sound like a bitch. <laughs> you just sound like a bitch. I don't even know you. But you just sound like a bitch. Like a bitch. Y'all feel me, right? Yeah. So it's like, why would I even, you know what I mean? Why? Why? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Anyway, in conclusion, 
My name is Martin and me. I love you all equally. Um, if you had a good time, please come back to Roommate Awake. I actually, um, I'm actually the owner of this place. I'm not making that up. I'm, we, uh, we opened, I opened this place up during the pandemic because all the venues in DC were closed down and we needed a place to create. I've been doing comedy in DC for 10 years. Uh, moved to LA two months ago. So now my, uh, my young comic friends are running the place on my behalf. Eric Barbales, give it up for Eric yeah. Barbales. Justin V, Don Brayer. So if you had a good time and you want to support, uh, we take donations. Uh, we sell merchandise, we sell overachiever hoodies uh, over there for, for uh, 50 and we sell t-shirts for 25 So if you guys want to don't mind purchasing a merch or, or do donations, it helps us, allows us to do shows like this where most of the tickets are free for the community and help the new generation of comedians, you know, perform and, and, and go after their craft. So love you guys. Get home safe. My name is Bernie. Thank you guys. <laughs> Keep it going for Martin and me!